Here we are out in the beautiful countryside of Amish country. Uh, everybody loves the Amish. Um, one of the things that I really admire about them is their efficiency and their practical utility they do with things. This here is an Amish ice house. Um, so they've got this big thick cooler door. It's about a foot of styrofoam. The uh, white styrofoam that uh, people are used to seeing. And we're going to spray we're going to spray six inches of the closed cell foam on the ceiling and on the walls here. Something you might find interesting is this is a uh, this is a refrigerator that they've taken all the refrigeration components out. So it's a box and they've cut holes, air holes. So this one will be an exhaust hole and an entrance hole for the cool air so the cool air can come in or however they have it set up, you know, it can circulate and keep the uh, contents cold. And then I'm guessing the other side of that goes into their kitchen. So it's kind of like a, a built-in refrigerator with this giant ice house. Uh, it's a 10 by 10 room and uh, they're gonna they're gonna love this. The six inches of closed cell polyurethane foam that we're going to spray and install, you know, six inches of that's gonna come out to about here. That will outperform 24 inches of this uh, white styrofoam product. Um, so it's it's a really, the closed cell foam is very popular uh, with the Amish in these applications. So gonna get started putting some prep down and uh, I'll take some progress along the way, show you what it's all about. Prepped up, uh, ready to head in. Got my plastic on, uh, along the floor. Uh, one of the things that we uh, hold as a high value in our company is uh, quality of workmanship and, and for that job site to look nicer and cleaner when we leave than when we get here. So we've protected the customers, uh, finished surfaces, got the doors covered off and whatnot, ready to pull some fans in for ventilation and uh, bring the gun in and start putting some foam on. All right, so we're... Uh... We're all sprayed up in here. I thought I'd, I'd show up before I tear all the prep and plastic down. And uh, <clears throat> if you look here, you'll see real quick why we cover the whole floor with our plastic and the edges and whatnot. Make a real nice finish. But this here is a solid, it was supposed to be six inches. I'm pretty sure I got about six and a half to seven. The foam was growing real good in here. And yeah, just a real nice, even, pretty even sheet or shell, really. Um, really great structural integrity in here. It's gonna, it's gonna keep that ice for a long time in the summer. I'll keep their food cool. All right, I'll clear out the plastic and then uh, let you take a peek at it afterwards. Okay, so here we are, final result. And it's a beautiful, nice clean edge. Again, that, that's the ice box. Giant refrigerator, the back side of it, uh, here in the ice house. And uh, the Saunders family will be able to gather up some ice this winter, pack this thing full, and uh, hopefully they'll have winter all summer, or uh, not winter, they'll have ice all summer long from the winter till next, the following winter. And that's the idea. I stick one foot door to shake that seal. Hope you found this project as interesting as I did, it's fun. Um, I love seeing the end result like this. It feels good to, uh, to put out a quality product like this. Thanks so much.